We've been waiting for this. We're deep diving. We are deep diving this. First of all, adorable. Okay. Stats. Holy sh**. That golden one to two ratio. Energy recharge at 135. And you are not running a pyro cup. What? Thundering Pulse, the weapon that's not in the game? Okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, okay. Uh, attack by 20%. Thunder Emblem. Thunder Emblem increases normal attack damage by 12, 24, 40%. Here we one second Thunder Emblem in each of the following scenarios. Look at the Normal attack deals damage. Some build. Stacks last five seconds. Because the elemental skill lasts 10 seconds. Energy is less than 100%. Yeah. Disappears when energies fall. Each stack duration is stacked uh, independently. Dope. Artifacts. Why the fuck are you being run on Noble S? We can see your constellation. Okay. Hold up. Let's read her abilities first. I have no idea what she does. I have no idea. She has two levels of charge shot? What? Okay, hold up. So she's the same as Ganyu? Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Hold on, hold on, hold up. Fires a flaming arrow that deals pyro damage. Generates a... Wait, what? Generates a maximum of three kindling arrows based on time spent charging, releasing them as a part of this aim shot. Kindling arrows will home in on nearby opponents, dealing pyro damage on hit. Her first hit is a double 98% scaling. Okay. Nawabi Fire Dance. Blazing Arrow Damage. 158% normal attack damage. Duration 10 seconds. What does this do? Okay. Yoimiya waves a sparkler and causes a ring of salt peter to surround her. During this time, arrows fired by Yoimiya's normal attack will be blazing arrows, and their damage will be increased and converted to pyro damage. During this time, normal attack firework flare-up will not generate kindling arrows at charge level 2. Okay? Uh, it lasts 10 seconds, and the CD is 18. Okay, maybe there's a maybe there's a talent or a constellation that reduces it to a one-to-one, -one, but even still, eight seconds of downtime, that's not bad. Okay, what's this? Yoimiya leaps into the air, along with Ivan Wanda. Look at this girl's kit for so long. Yoimiya leaps into the air, along with her original creation, the Ryukin Saxifrage, and fires forth blazing rockets, bursting with surprises that deal AoE power damage. This looks awesome. And marks one... Hold up and marks one of the hit opponents with Aura's Blaze. All, holy shit. All normal charge plunging attacks, elemental skills, <laughs> elemental skills, and elemental burst by any party member other than Yoimiya that hit an opponent marked by Aura's Blaze will trigger an explosion, dealing AoE pyro damage. When an opponent affected by Aura's Blaze is defeated before its duration expires, the effect will pass on to another nearby opponent who will inherit the remaining duration. What? One Aura's Blaze explosion can be triggered every two seconds. When Yoimiya is down, Aura's Blaze effects created through her skills will be deactivated. Okay, hold up. I'm confused. Why does this not trigger? That's a great... Uh, congratulations. Why does this not trigger on Yoimiya, and then how would we play? I assume you go in, you E, you E, you blast, blast, blah, blah, blast. Then you pop the alt and then you swap. That's a very interesting alt. When you Q, your swap. Yeah. Okay. We've never seen a gameplay. Well, we, we should. I don't think we've seen any character that has this type of intended mechanic. Uh, during your, or at least written verbatim. Still need the personal opinion about her Kiteki Eggy face palm. True, we're getting there. Like, alt, and then fucking leave. During the Wabi Fire Dance, shots from Yoimiya Normal Attack will increase your power damage by 2% on hit. This thing lasts for 3 seconds and have a maximum of 10 stacks. That's really good. 20% extra pyro damage. That's pretty nutty. Okay. Yoteki Yukudi and then swap or use Zinku and then use Yoimiya Z and Vaporize. That's true. Wait, would that work? Wait, if we had a... Pr 
if it can only proc every two seconds, if we were to have Xing Cho go in there and then proc it, we could keep her on the field. That works? Oh, shit. Okay. Using Ryukin Saxifrage uh, causes nearby party members, not including Yomiya, to get a 10% attack increase for 10 se 50 seconds. Additionally, a further attack bonus will be added on base the number of tricks of the Troublemaker. Stacks Yomiya possess when using Ryukin Saxifrage. Each stack increases bonus by 1%. That sounds really good. She's used for decorations. That's cool. All right, let's see these constellations. When using the Aura's Blaze created by R Ryukin Saxifrage lacks for an extra 4 seconds. That's amazing. Additionally, when opponents affected by Aura's Blaze are defeated within its duration, Yoimiya's attack is increased by 20% for 20 seconds. But just, does that stack or not? We don't know. When Yoimiya's Pyro Damage scores a crit hit, Yoimiya will gain a 25% Pyro Damage for 6 seconds. What? Okay. Increase scaling by three. When Yoimiya's own Aorus Blaze triggers an explosion, Nawabi's Fire Dance CD is decreased by 1.2 seconds. Okay. During Nawabi Fire Dance, Yoimiya's normal attacks have a 50% chance of firing an additional Kindling Arrow that deals 60% of its original damage. This damage is her normal attack. Wait, what's wrong with this? She has absolutely zero AOE. She's only single target. What is wrong with that? But she seems like a character that we haven't seen anybody do anything like her before. Her kit seems really cool. She sounds like a fucking machine gun. She sounds like a fucking machine gun, no? I think this look... I think she looks pretty fucking dope. Let's test her. Politech Tom. Tasi go hace mucha tiempo. Eres un gran guay espero que hagas la siguiente misión y que es la mejor. This looks fucking awesome. I must. What's wrong with this? This looks so fucking cool. Okay, then you swap. Yeah. Her, wait, their sure shit looks so cool. What's wrong with this? How do y'all not like it? It's so sick. Let's see this. That looks fucking awesome. <laughs> Why y'all gotta be so goddamn salty about her, man? And I imagine whenever you uh, pair her up with other units, it's gonna be nasty. I wonder how good her single target damage is going to be. Dude, I honestly think that the um, the new normal attack charge shot uh, set that reduces energy is going to be really good. Because I don't think that it's going to be a priority to spam uh, Yoimiya's ult on her. So I feel like you use that 50% extra damage uh, set on her and then just fucking unload. I think. I think it would be dope. Dude, I don't know. Your Mia's gameplay could be fucking sick. Like, imagine, dude. Imagine. Like, you have fucking Kazuha, right? You have Kazuha. You suck all of them in with the E. You pop the ult. Everything fucking AOE. Pyroproc, Pyroproc, Pyroproc. And then there's the one fucking dude who's sitting there. The fucking big boss is left. You fucking swap the Your Mia. You fucking pop the E and you just fucking machine gun him down. You press the E, you proc the six or the four piece artifact set of the new Inazuma set. It's gonna be sick. Back All right, Fresh. Those are supposed Wait. to be one on one. Oh, Back up. Let's help you and Mia. We can't let her fight them all alone. Hey, quit. All right, here we go. Ba -ba -ba. <laughs> it looks so good, doesn't it? Ba -ba -ba. Man, imagine if I had good stats on this character. Imagine, imagine if I had good stats. Everybody stand. The animations are so pretty. I wonder what it's actually worth. Oh, and you can't miss those either. By royal decree. Let's go. Dude, he couldn't get out of the air. He couldn't get out of the air, dude.